Hello, I'm Sasha Parkinson, and I'm going to be reading Let There Be Peace by Lem Sisse. Let there be peace. So frowns fly away like albatross and skeletons foxtrot from cupboards. So war correspondents become travel show presenters and magpies bring back lost property. Children, engagement rings, broken things. Let there be peace. So storms can go out to sea to be angry and return to me calm. So the broken can rise up and dance in the hospitals. Let the aged Ethiopian man in the grey block of flats peer through his window and see Addis before him. So his thrilled, outstretched arms become frames for his dreams. Let there be peace. Let tears evaporate to form clouds, cleanse themselves and fall into reservoirs of drinking water. Let harsh memories burst into fireworks that melt in the dark pupils of a child's eyes and disappear like shoals of silver darting fish. And let the waves reach the shore with a chose this poem because um well for one reason being that Lem Sisse is a fellow Mancunian and I love to celebrate northern talent whenever I can um but the main reason I chose this piece was because although Lem Sisse is is a very well-known poet and many many people are familiar with his work um for a lot of people the first time hearing of him and this poem, Let There Be Peace, was when he performed it at the one year anniversary for the Manchester Arena bombings. Um, And, you know, that time was completely devastating, but weirdly it was simultaneously um, like, you know, the most heartbreaking, but yet, the most heartwarming time as well, because we all as a city came together as one um, and, you know, we we mourned together and we were so angry together, but yet we had so much respect for one another and we found strength and um, we were resilient and, I don't know, we just had so much love for our city and our people. Lem Sisse's performance of this at the anniversary, it was just like, I mean, this poem on its own anyway, is just so beautiful and and impactful. Um, But I think performing it there just, I don't know, I feel like the poem took on a new form and it became even more powerful and even more... um, meaningful I don't know and also there was something really beautiful about all of these people from so many different walks of lives coming together you know it didn't matter your your race or your gender your sexuality or your age or anything nothing nothing mattered everyone was just there with the same emotions and the same intentions and the same feelings all listening to these beautiful words so for me this poem truly represents unity and um and strength and resilience and love and respect and yeah all the beautiful things everything that peace day stands for whenever i think of the word peace um I just like, I don't know, I feel I automatically associate that word with stillness and um, feeling calm, quietness. Um, 
I think when I'm truly at peace with myself is when I'm living in complete authenticity with with complete authenticity and um, free of my anxieties and free of my fears and free of my um, external pressures and free of judgment and when I'm completely aligned with my beliefs and yeah I think being at peace is just feeling an abundance of love and happiness and complete joy and bliss and I don't know actually I think peace thinking about it now almost is like a force field around (laughs) around you where all of the negative things are on the outside and all of the beautiful things are on the inside and I and I really believe that if we all, you know, are living peaceful and, and, and sort of um, moving with um, good intentions and love and and, and um, acceptance of ourselves and everybody else, then you can't go wrong. And you, I think you give off the energy and pass that on and you allow other people to live authentically as well. And I don't know, I think everyone deserves to live like that. It is so important that we all come together as one for Peace Day. There is strength in numbers. And if we are not united and working together towards our goal for peace, then then we, we will never change it. Things will never change. I'm also a huge believer in, in energy and how energy is infectious. And think of all of the people coming together in this day, all just emitting that, putting out that, positive um high vibrational loving energy it's contagious you know and the more people it's the more people that are putting that out there um yeah we can we can take over the world mm-hmm.